Hey everyone, before I get into this video, I want to remind you to enter our Trials of Mana giveaway. Now, you don't have to necessarily get a Switch version of this. It'll be a digital code. You can get it on your preferred platform. Uh, but that is our giveaway for this month. To win a copy of the game, all you have to do is like this video, comment down below, subscribe to the channel, and hit that bell icon. We will be announcing the winner of the giveaway on the very last day of April. Uh, without further ado, let's get into the video. Animal Crossing New Horizons can not be stopped. Holy crud. We have sales data in from Japan for the second week. This is a full week of sales, but not launch sales for the game. And it basically outsold launch sales for every other Animal Crossing game ever released. It's insane. And not only are we going to talk about the sales today and the rest of the sales charts in Japan, including the Nintendo Switch, again, selling massive numbers, uh, we're also going to be talking about my impressions of Animal Crossing New Horizons. So this is basically a video all about Animal Crossing New Horizons. But first, let's just get into those sales, and then we'll get into my early impressions of the game as we head into the uh, Easter event they have going on right now. So as you can see here, uh, these are for last week, and Animal Crossing New Horizons uh, moved 7 727,000 units, uh, moving it up to 2.6 million. Already one of the best selling Switch games in all of Japan. Uh, One Piece Pirate Warriors released as well. The PlayStation 4 version did outsell uh, the Switch version by about 40,000. Uh, there's also a Pokemon Sword and Shield near for 14,000 or almost 15,000 units, really. Ring Fit Adventure at number five, moving 13,800. Mario Kart 8 Deluxe still charting at 11,500. Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Rescue Team DX moving 11,000. Uh, we got Neo 2 over on PlayStation 4 moving 11,000. And Super Smash Bros. Ultimate at number nine, moving 10,000. And Minecraft for Switch, the physical version, moving 9.9 thousand eight switch games to playstation 4 but when you get down to here this is really insane you'll see the nintendo switch move two hundred and eighty two thousand units after moving three hundred ninety two thousand last uh, last week that is the power of animal crossing it has moved 1.7 million units so far this year which is almost double what it did last year at the same time uh switches off to a gangbuster start and if people are curious i have heard from several people in japan that retailers over the weekend sold out of animal crossing new horizons the actual game the physical game has been sold out and switches so switches got sold out over the weekend as well doesn't mean it's sold out right now of course it is now wednesday almost thursday in japan uh but yes over you know it's just just an idea part of the sales data for last week was under a supply constraint if you can believe that or not and these are just physical sales for animal crossing no idea how many additional units were sold digitally obviously we have 13 million switches there so who knows how many of those people are buying animal crossing right now uh when you scroll down here in this uh media th uh create chart or thread famitsu thread on uh, reset era you'll see uh there's some sales trends here for the switch on its yearly sales you know with the 2019 being green and as you can see it is charting very very well um to to, to go here 2020 obviously uh just look at that spike this is the animal crossing spike look at this so it was behind 2019 then animal crossing hits and it just zoom and heck that's even ahead of launch remember how we said it sold more during uh the week for animal crossing launch than at any time in japan here's the proof there's where launch was at right here and then here is where it was last week so yeah insane sales right now for the switch uh obviously switch year to date sales comparison obviously massive animal crossing spike no surprise there we'll see what happens that spike usually comes or, or by the time they get to that amount of sales i mean you're almost you know what 31 weeks into the year so obviously switch is on a really really high pace right now to start this year um and you, you can kind of see where Switch is starting to spike up here even further, get creeping closer and closer to the 3DS. We'll see. We'll see if Switch can catch 3DS. Remember, 3DS moved, was it 24 million? We've got the chart right up here. Um, I'll just get the exact numbers. Yeah, 24,500,000 units. So we'll see if Switch can end up catching up to that. It's going to still take a few years uh, for Switch to probably come close. Um, and uh, you, you can see, you know, the, the 3DS versus Switch, the difference and all that. Um in the same weeks and such like that uh if you care playstation 3 playstation 4 harbor sales playstation 4 had a playstation 3 at the same point in life um 
So, yeah, although PlayStation 3 might end up selling overall more units than PlayStation 4 in Japan, uh, because we obviously know PlayStation 5 is on its way. Uh, software sales, Animal Crossing New Leaf, <laughs> right there, pretty good. Uh, Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, right there, pretty good. Pokemon Sword and Shield, right there, pretty good. And here's Animal Crossing New Horizons, which is just ahead of all of them. So, uh, pretty crazy. Uh, as I said, Animal Crossing cannot be stop now obviously that's just looking at some sales data out of japan we don't have anything for the u.s the mpd is obviously going to be massive when we see it later this month but what i'm actually um want to talk about now is just my my early impressions of animal crossing new horizons because i have dabbled in every single animal crossing game the spin-off games and everything in between mebo festival even if you can believe it or not uh but i haven't really deep dove into an animal crossing aka played it every day for many days in a row months in a row um since the original animal crossing on gamecube that was the first my first experience with animal crossing as a kid uh and i played the hell out of it i time warped i did all that jazz uh and i've played other animal crossing since but never really got big into animal crossing because i don't know if i just grew out of the experience or just wanted to experience different things at those points in my life uh but it's interesting when i when i go into new horizons because i I'm not sure exactly what's different in this game compared to, say, New Leaf, because I didn't deep dive in the New Leaf enough to know what's different. Um, so I'm just kind of almost coming at this from someone who is aware of Animal Crossing and knows how it works, but at the same time doesn't really know the game that well, so everything feels new to me. Uh, as an example, there was a while I forgot how to plant fruit trees, and like that's pretty well known in animal crossing i didn't even realize you could dig up entire trees uh so again i'm basically a noob but who's also aware of what this game is and how it works in some capacity um and i only have one room in my house right now for those who want to know where, where am i on the house upgrade tree i only have one room it's not paid off because we were focusing on paying off a new bridge uh and all that in the town me and my fiance and, and i think that's what's been interesting about this game this is the first game since i think the new super mario brothers u game that me and uh, Yulia are playing together and I find that um, fascinating to me because I usually when I game I game mostly on my own unless it's a multiplayer game like Fortnite or something uh, and even when I play Fortnite I usually play with strangers I don't, I don't really I, I'm usually a solo gamer so to play this game with somebody else obviously creates a unique experience one um, I'm fighting for time to play on my Switch. <laughs> this is the first time uh, I felt like I wish I, I had like an extra Switch specifically for my fiance, a Switch Lite or, or something. I don't know. She likes to play on TV, so probably the Animal Crossing Switch would probably do just dandy for her. Um, but uh, it's also nice too because when I don't have time to play and she has time to play, um, she's also doing things like you know helping pay off the bridge or farming different things and helping fill out the museum or she's decorating the town because she does like decorating the town and uh, you know. We we have this entire flower garden going on right now we'll see how long that lasts for but right now we have a huge flower garden and i i, I think that um when i i think about the whole animal crossing experience i find it just to be really relaxing and i think i hate saying this but it, I, I think almost this this worldwide pandemic going on right now might have even helped the game a little bit this isn't to say the game wouldn't have been an amazing seller anyways of course it would have been but can you time a game like this to come out any better than right now in the middle of this time when we're stuck at home and we want to escape and we we want to go to an island we we would love to go on a vacation to hawaii or, or wherever but we can't we can't really get out of the house we can't even go to our local parks because they're shut down so while we could play outside in our yard and go for a walk or whatever it's not the same as actually being able to do things out in the world so then you have this animal crossing game coming i think that's helping my appeal for the game is I like I'm planting trees I'm chopping down trees I'm catching bugs I'm fishing I don't even like fishing in real life and here I am fishing for hours on end in this game and honestly I could just be fishing in real life instead I obviously don't get the wide variety of fish that you do here out here you, know, you can catch you know a couple different types of fish but that's about it, it it's it's just such a relaxing experience i think in a time when there's so much going on i'm homeschooling my kids right now so like today i had to be you know mr jance and and you know be a teacher and all that for all three of the kids and um obviously uh that that gets a little complicated because obviously i'm trying to do videos i'm also trying to uh, uh keep up my, my 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 physical health you know I'd, i've been working out going on walks eating healthier uh drinking only water now i finally yes folks finally cut soda out of my diet so yeah nate good job um 
took me long enough. Uh, it, it's it, it's an interesting experience to find time for all that, find the energy for all that. And then um, when I want to relax, I just kick back with some AC. And I, I think, you know, New, you know, New Leaf could have did this. Other games could have did this. But New Horizons is just, it, it, there's something special about this game. And it's not perfect. Like, the multiplayer experience when me and Yulia are playing together isn't perfect. There are things we wish could have been done better. Uh, but ultimately, uh, we just enjoy it for what it is. It, it, it's a relaxing experience. We like upgrading and decorating our house and making things for our neighbors and trying to get more neighbors to move in. Um, you know, we'll see. The village could be so populated there won't be room for any trees at some point. I have no clue how many people we're going to get to move into our village because it just keeps growing. Seemingly every single day we have, like, someone new coming in. I think we're up to four or five uh, <laughs> new villagers at this point. And, uh, you know, Flick just came to town and trying to catch bugs. We're selling it. Like, it's just every day it's nice to wake up. There's just something to do. Now, granted, you can run out of things to do and you can time hop. And I'm not going to lie. I time hopped. Of course, I was told if I time hopped that the events would be pushed back. Yet here we are on April 1st and I have the Easter event starting right on time like it's supposed to. So I don't know. I, I guess maybe that's not true, or Nintendo wasn't right with that. Like, it was like time hoppers were supposed to be punished, and I'm not being punished because I set the date back to the normal day, like days ago. And now that we're to April 1st, everything's fine, even though I time hopped to get the museum and other things, you know, a little bit quicker. I don't know. Um, I guess maybe because I didn't time hop specifically to do holiday events. Um, I mean, I, I think it, it was about a week ago I time hopped all the way up to April 3rd, one day at a time. Uh, to get new things unlocked and then I jump back to like May 26th or something uh, so I don't know maybe that helped but beats me I, I time hop it is what it is I don't I don't do it very often just just sparingly like we didn't time hop like we paid off the bridge last night we didn't time hop to get the bridge built we wait for today uh, so now the bridge is built to where we want to go and it's just it's such a fun game it's just a relaxing game it's not an exciting game you know it's not one of those games where um, you know you're gonna ha be um, beaming with, with excitement and get your heart racing, heart pumping, and, and and jump out of bed and, and you know whatever like oh I I bought the rare I, I caught the rarest fish in the game and you're not gonna like you know run around the house screaming out of excitement like you can if you uh, win a huge game of Fortnite or something but um, it, it is an experience where it's just a consistent relaxing experience and even when you run out of things to do if it, to me it just feels like well it's okay that I'm done. It's fine because I know tomorrow I'm going to have a whole bunch of things to do again. Um, and I'm okay with that. Like it's, it's I, I don't feel like I need to play it for 8, 12, 10 hours. Some of you guys are probably playing like crazy. I've seen some play hours over 100, over 120 hours uh, sunk into the game. You know, I'm happy at my 30 to 40 hours in. Uh, but it's just a, a fun game. Um, and it, it's a hard game. Like when you're looking at, you know, where would you rate it, you know, out of 10? Or it, It's such a hard game to rate. Uh, so I'm not going to attempt to give an exact rating, but um, right now I'm hard pressed to think of one thing uh, that I really want this game to be better at right now. Now, long haul, I'm sure there's going to be things like I wish uh, maybe I wish there were baits or different types of baits for the water, or maybe I'll think of, you know, I've complained in the past about some things with this game before it came out. Now that it's here, my, my complaints don't seem that relevant anymore, even though they're still true. There's things like, like I said, the multiplayer together isn't perfect. I hate that we have to keep switching the leader back and forth just to access our own bags and stuff like that. But, you know, um, it's okay. I'm, I'm okay with it. We're kind of used to it at this point, to the point that, eh, it's just so second nature. We don't even really think about it. Um, anyways, you guys let me know what you think of Animal Crossing New Horizons. It's about the sales, about the game, about your towns. If you somehow have a video of your town or screenshots of your town up online, you know, feel free to link them down in the comments below. I will try to um, approve any comments I see uh, that end up getting hidden by YouTube for having links because that happens sometimes. Uh, just so we can kind of share our villages. Uh, you've seen a little bit of mine. It's not fully up to date. This is from a couple days ago. I had about eight minutes of footage I recorded for a different video. Just showing you, showing off the town a little bit. Um, so this doesn't even have all our villagers. This is definitely not up to date because today, you know, with the Easter event going, we've been, we've been finding eggs and talking to zipper and it's it, it's an experience let me tell you that that's all i can say is animal crossing is an experience but it's not a game for everyone so thank you guys for tuning in um Hopefully you guys enter that giveaway for Trials of Mana by commenting, liking this video, subscribing, hitting that bell icon, all that jazz. You can do that on every single video in the month of April here to get an extra entry. Uh, thank you guys so much for tuning in, and I will catch you all in the next video.